As you can imagine, when you get an intravenous medication, you're getting a whack load of the drug, and then it's being used up by your body, it's being metabolized or broken down, or it's excreted, and then the level of that drug drops. And that is what we mean when we say a drug level. When you get another infusion, the drug level goes up again, and then it drops over time as your body uses it up, metabolizes it, or excretes it. And then when you get the next dose, it will go up again, and over time you will reach a steady state, and that's your nice point. That's the drug level that works for you. It has been studied and is generally recommended that you need the drug to be in a therapeutic range, which means that it needs to be above a certain level and perhaps no higher than another level. When a drug is consumed too quickly, or excreted or metabolized too quickly, you'll see that what happens is that the drug level drops too low. When it gets too low, in this time here, a patient may then have symptoms, because it's allowing the disease activity to come back. In that case, oftentimes clinicians will shorten the interval so that the infusion is every four weeks, and sometimes clinicians will increase the dose and give the patient a higher drug dosage at the next infusion. It is important to not allow the drug level to get too low, because when it drops to an undetectable level, meaning that the body no longer sees this drug, during that time that it is undetectable, the body can produce anti-drug antibodies. It's almost like vaccinating yourself to the drug. For example, when you get a hepatitis B vaccination, you will go to the clinic three times. The idea is that you get the first injection, the body kind of recognizes it as foreign protein, and kind of builds antibodies a little bit. But when you get the second injection, it does for sure recognize it as something foreign. Definitely will start to develop antibodies. It's the third booster shot, usually, that your body can then get enough response that you become immune to that foreign antibody or hepatitis. So can you imagine that if you are given this intravenous biologic medication, which is a foreign protein, your body is going to recognize it as foreign, and every time you drop below a certain point, and then you reintroduce that protein, your body will say, hey, what is this thing? It's foreign. I'm going to develop antibodies to it. Over time, with enough antibody development, you can lose that drug effect. You lose the benefit of that drug. And so it's very important to ensure this does not happen. There are several ways to do that. One way is to always ensure that the patient comes on time. And that means if you're scheduled for infusions every four weeks or every six weeks, that you are not late. Another way to do that is to check the drug level at trough, which means the very last day or just before the infusion, to make sure that you can see what the lowest drug level is. And that's to make sure that there is enough drug on board. If there is not enough drug on board, that the options are either to shorten the infusion intervals or to give more drug. The other way to try to uh, reduce the chance of developing antibodies is also to add combination therapy with something like Imuran or methotrexate. And the idea is to try to prevent the body from developing these antibodies.